One thing that I love about opinions is that we all have different ones. We all bring different reasons for the way that we think about something and the why uh, that we think about something. And it's always fun to share. It's always fun to hear other people's reasoning uh, on what their thought process is. And in the NFL, it's no different. It's no different. As long as it comes with respect, of course. Um, it's always fun to hear why people think this guy is great, why people think that guy is great, why people think this guy, oh, he may not be great yet, and so on and so forth. And when it comes to quarterback, when it comes to quarterback, that is one of the, the trickiest and one of the most fun, entertaining conversations that somebody could have. And Colin Coward, who... <laughs> He uh, is ranking his top 10 quarterbacks uh, going into the 2022 season. And he had a very interesting list. And I'm going to tell you from jump, Lamar Jackson is not on that list at all. He's not there. He's not number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or 10. Um, but let's see who he does have on the list and talk about it. Number 10. Derek Carr. Derek Carr just got paid in more ways than one because the Raiders, they paid him that fat contract, but then they were like, you know, no, 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 that's not enough. Oh, no, we're giving you Devontae Adams, too. So they gave him the guy who was the best wide receiver in the league last year. They gave him his college teammate. So they're looking to, to, to rekindle that flame, to rebuild on that previous chemistry that they had years ago. But they have Derek Carr, number 10. Number nine, Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray, uh, last year was a, it went like this for him. The, the Cardinals, they started off hot, and then things just got weird. That's what I would call it. They got really weird. Um, and they just, they just started collapsing, man. They just couldn't hold it together. They couldn't hold it down. Um, and they just, they, they fell apart. Uh, well, Kyler Murray is his number nine guy. Number eight. See, with, um, even with a Derek Carr. See, my, the, my argument's already started. Uh, number eight is Justin Herbert. Justin Herbert, again, stat machine. He puts up the numbers that he can play. But again, when you look at the team, and the team has had some nice, nice offenses. Oh, my goodness, nice offenses. And I know a lot of people's argument when we did the video about Justin Herbert and Lamar Jackson, it, it was the list from... Um, Oh, I forgot what the, uh, the the people that were called that made the list. But they had um, Justin Herbert ranked the, ahead of Lamar Jackson. I was thinking, like, no, Lamar Jackson wins. Justin Herbert doesn't. A lot of people make the argument, like, hey, well, hey, look at Lamar Jackson's defenses. Look at those. And that that is a good argument. But at the same time, a good offense, it helps the defense big time. A, a great offense makes the job that much easier for a defense. And they allow a defense to, and, and there were some times, quite a few games where Lamar Jackson, ooh, a lot of games, where Lamar Jackson, because of everything that he was doing, he made the defense's job 20,000 times easier. But anyway, Justin Herbert is number eight. Um, so eight, nine, and ten, just those guys from jump, are they better than a Lamar Jackson? Are they? Are we talking numbers? Are we talking stats? Are we talking passing yards? Are we talking passing touchdowns? Are we talking about wins? What, what, what is the, the ultimate quarterback stat? It, it all depends on how they're breaking this thing down. Or is it a combination of everything? What, what is the reasoning? I'm just curious. Uh, just from those three guys from jump. And then number seven, you got uh, Joe Burrow. From the Cincinnati Bengals. And Joe Burrow, of course, he, he did his thing. He did his thing last year. They went 10-7, and seven, so they were looking like, ah, oh, but they did have some significant wins over some significant opponents, uh, especially that being the Kansas City Chiefs. And then they carried it all the way to the playoffs and through the playoffs, uh, just not that at the very end of the playoffs, but they did make it there. And only one team can win, uh, and they made it there. Um, so shout out to Joe Burrow. Number six, Matt Stafford. The other Super Bowl quarterback from last year. And Matt Stafford was finally uh, put on a team that surrounded him with great talent everywhere. Um, he, he had just not had done, hadn't done anything in Detroit. Um, but I feel like, like nobody does anything in Detroit. 
Uh, it, it, was, it was rough over there. He would put up all these nice passing numbers, these yards, these stats. They would go crazy, but they weren't winning anything. They weren't winning anything. So then he goes to the Rams, and the Rams like, hey, we go all in every year. We trying to win as much as we possibly can. Come through. He came through. Super Bowl. Number five, Russell Wilson. Ooh, we're going to see how if Russell Wilson gets to cook uh, over with the Denver Broncos. We'll see how that whole thing shakes itself out. Uh, but Russell Wilson, um, he, over the past couple of years, certainly he had some good receivers, had some good pass catches. Offensive line in Seattle always been sort of shaky. Uh, with the Broncos, it should be better. Um, and he still has some good pass catches. Got Jerry Judy, uh, got Tim Patrick, uh, got Colin Sutton. So he got some nice options over there. Um, at tight end, I think who does he have Noah Fant? I think or is it is it but I think it's Fant. Either way, um, he got some nice tight end options as well. So Rush should be able to cook. And then they brought back Melvin Gordon. They still got um, is it not Devontae Booker? Jo no, Javante Williams. Oh, I forget their running back's name. Anyway, y'all know who I'm talking about. The one that carried Marlon Humphrey for like twenty some yards. That guy. They got him. Uh, number six. Oh, excuse me. Number number four. I'm, I'm going to reverse number four. Russell Wilson was number five. Number four is Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. I didn't know he had four MVPs. I, I did not know that. Uh, but Aaron Rodgers at number four. Um, man, regular season, Aaron Rodgers got it. Postseason, that's when stuff gets a little tricky for him. Um, but Aaron Rodgers, obviously, a baller, been doing this thing for a long time now. Always puts up crazy numbers. He'll have like 50, 60, 70 touchdowns to like one, two, or three interceptions. And it's, it, the crazy thing about his game is not even that. He, he's not even like super careful with the ball. It's not like he's super like, oh, shy with the ball. He doesn't, it's not like he doesn't take risks because he does. But he puts it somewhere. Only his receivers be getting it. Number three, Tom Brady. Of course, Tom Brady, the most successful uh, NFL quarterback of all time uh, Got like a million championships Million accolades And a million and counting Because he's still playing The dude will be playing till he's probably like 53 or something like that um, But still putting up numbers uh, Even at his age now uh, So he's sort of defying age um, So he's been doing his thing Number two now, Between number one and number two I've been seeing a lot of debate A lot of back and forth recently uh, between a lot of analysts and whatnot, uh, between these two guys, uh, Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen. I've been seeing a whole lot of back and forth. Um, and I respect it because Patrick Mahomes, obviously, ever since he took over, he been going crazy with it. Uh, but now it's, we're going to see how crazy he does again without a Tyreek Hill because that's a big loss. And Josh Allen, ever since he got Stephon Diggs, he's been going crazy with it. And he's been putting up some very pretty numbers, too. Uh, and now he's been in the playoffs, and he had a little bit more success. Did, didn't quite make it to the AFC Championship last year. He, he did everything that he could to make it there. But that number one defense, it's like they went from, like, first to last in a heartbeat in that game. Oh, man. That game was fun, though. I, I, I loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. But um, Josh Allen is a baller, but they have Josh Allen. Colin Coward has Josh Allen as number two, and he has Patrick Mahomes. As number one um, So the list is interesting as, as a lot of these lists usually are um, But I'm just really Like really Especially with the with, with, with 10 through 7 with Derek Carr, Kyler Murray, Justin Herbert And Joe Burrow Like really the the uh, Lamar not over those guys I mean you can even make a case For some other guys but definitely Especially the, these last four no Lamar Jackson and those guys are in, but no Lamar. I don't know about that one, Colin. I don't know, man. You must have known us Ravens fans were going to come find this list. Um, but anyway, it, it, it is what it is. Shout out to uh, my guy that sent it to me um, because he actually, uh, my guy, uh, Munker, because he actually he actually went to Louisville. He went to Louisville. So I know that he, he when he found this list and he sent it to me, he probably sent it to me with some heat. Because he's like, hold up, man. I went to Louisville, and that's my guy, Lamar. I don't know. Even if it wasn't my guy, I don't know why he's not on this list. And, and I, I really don't. I really don't. But again, everybody's entitled to their own opinion, and it's all good. Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. If y'all got some more lists for us to cover, hey, let me know. Send them to me. 
And I got you. If it's a good list, we'll throw it. If it's a bad list, we'll just keep the conversation in the DMs. But until then, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And like Lamar Jackson was when it came to Colin Coward's top 10 quarterbacks list, I'm out.